You might have seen or experienced while playing with a rope that when you jog one part of the rope, the part near you moves less but the rope at the end makes a bigger wave. This is called bullwhip effect. In this lecture, we will talk in detail about more on the bullwhip effect in supply chain management, the causes of bullwhip effect and the solutions of the bullwhip effect. So what is bullwhip effect? The bullwhip effect is a phenomenon or we can say a problem with inefficient supply chain distribution channel which causes a swing in inventories as one moves further up the supply chain. Let's suppose there is a constant need of 10 photocopy machines per month from a certain retailer. Meanwhile. A new printing press was established in the town and it wanted 15 photocopy machines. Or we can say the customers order 5 extra machines. The retailer asked the distributor for 15 photocopy machines. Distributors provided 15 photocopy machines. But the next month it forecasted that demand could be around 15 photocopy machines based on the earlier months. So it asked for 16 photocopy machines from the manufacturer. The manufacturer to let it uh, meet the demand of the distributor started making 20 photocopy machines. Now this is just the arbitrary example. There could be different approaches or say effects of the bullwhip effect in a different level. There was a special case and the customers ordered 5 extra printers. So in the next forecast the distributor thought that customer would order at least 15 photocopy machines. So to save it from losing the stock. It ordered for 16 photocopy machines from the factory and the factory to save it from low stocks it started producing 20 photocopy machines but what if the next time the demand returned to 10 units again so there will be huge fluctuations in inventory and demand of the machines this would disturb the entire supply chain and more prominently to the units which are higher up in the supply chain like the manufacturer so this is called the bullwhip effect so what could be the causes of the bullwhip effect and what could be the management strategies? What are the causes of the bullwhip effect? First is demand forecasting updates. As each unit along the supply chain such as retailers, suppliers and distributors etc. place an order, they replenish the stock and include some safety stuff. If the lead time or the time from the purchase to acquire is long, the fluctuation in demand may become more significant. So, inclusion of the safety stock and incorrect demand forecasting is one of the main reasons for the bullwhip effect. Second is order batching. To avoid the processing and transformation cost at frequent orders, companies tend to order large items in batches. Suppliers in turn may face dynamic range of orders which may cause bullwhip effect over the entire supply chain. So, when we order a large amount of items in batches, this can also cause the bullwhip effect. Third is the shortage gaming. When the product demand exceeds the supply, the manufacturers may ration. Uh, ration is uh, generally a fixed amount of commodity officially allowed to each person or each company during a time of shortage of the product. So when the manufacturer rations its product, uh, this can cause customers to exaggerate. That means they may think that the manufacturer worse than it really is in this case. As the customers exaggerate the orders to counter the rationing. This may cause cancellation of the orders which will pose a great difficulty to the manufacturer to determine the real demand of the product in the market. And the last one is price fluctuation. When there are special sales season or discounts, as the company already have the products stored up, when the price returns back to the normal, the customers stop buying. The buying pattern doesn't match to the consumption pattern which causes a problem of determining the demand of the product in the 
entire supply chain. So how can companies or elements of the supply chain counter the bullwhip effect? We studied four reasons or the causes of the bullwhip effect. Let's now study the four solutions. First is avoid many channels for demand forecast updates in the supply chain. And if possible, companies should make demand data directly from the consumer behavior. Also, there should be good communication between the components of the supply chain to improve the operations efficiency. Second is by avoiding ordering in batches as far as possible. The companies can use the third party logistic companies to handle shipping to lessen the transportation cost because generally to reduce the transportation cost, the company generally order in big batches. Third is by stabilizing the prices so that the discounts and consecutively the stockpiling by the consumers can be broken and the demand could be more stable. By using the Kanban and pool system in, we will study about the Kanban and pool system in detail in this course. Just for your understanding, pool system allows for the production exactly in the quantity ordered by the customers. Kanban uses card, boards and lists in order to supply only the required materials to the next step of the supply chain. As I mentioned, we will study these two terms in detail later. The last one is by eliminating gaming in shortage situation. Here the supplier can allocate the product based on the past sales record rather than the rationing and they can eliminate the generous return policies so that retailers are less likely to cancel their orders. Having said so, we have reached usual section. Let's run the quiz. Miranda is a manufacturer of oximeter. Oximeter is the instrument that helps in detection of the oxygen in blood. Sometimes she observes that the level of the demand fluctuates sharply and she has no idea of what could be the region of this phenomenon. As you have just studied about the bullwhip effect, which of the following ideas would you give to Miranda to avoid fluctuations in demand? First option is use Kanban and pool system. Second, do not try to ration during shortage. Third, do not establish frequent discount and sales. Fourth, try to listen ordering in batches in last quantity. And fifth, try to see the real demand of the customers and if possible, try to manufacture according to the direct customer's demand if the data is available. I will give you some time to think. You can pause the video now. Okay, let me give the answer to this question. In fact, all the options of these questions and this uh, scenario are correct. And we just read these solutions as solutions to counter the bullwhip effect. In fact, although I took only the five points, there may be many other ways to avoid bullwhip effect. If you have any new idea that you think could be responsible to eliminate or reduce the bullwhip effect, you can share your ideas with me. You can do that in the discussion forums, questions or answer section or through the direct message and also I have a Facebook page where students communicate with me frequently. You can solve that uh, with the name Mylene University. Stay with me because there are many interesting things to come. Thank you so much for listening to me so attentively throughout the lecture.